friends, it's Mrs. Seabor. I hope you're having a good summer. Um, I'm going to try to read a book a day and post it to our school YouTube channel. And let's start with some summer vacation uh, end of school year books. This one is called The Night Before Summer Vacation. And if you were in my class, at the very beginning of the year, probably on that first day, when there was just a couple of you, uh, in our class getting to know each other, we read The Night Before Kindergarten. And this is written by the same author, Natasha Wing, and illustrated by Julie Durrell. The Night Before Summer Vacation. The Night Before Summer Vacation. was the night before leaving on summer vacation. My family was bursting with anticipation. Dad made a checklist, which he checked as he went. The bug spray, the backpacks, the umbrella, and tent. What kind of vacation do you think they're going on if they're packing bug spray, backpacks, and a tent? Mom grabbed the graham crackers and stuff for the s'mores. We carried out helmets, the canoe, and the oars. Remember my raft, my snorkel, my bike, plus Pete's doggy bowls and Jimmy's new trike. Goodness sakes, have you ever taken that much stuff on vacation? Down from the attic, our suitcases came. Mom whistled and shouted as if refing a game. In bathing suits, in flip-flops, in sunblock and hats, in flashlight, in lounge chairs, and wiffle ball bats. To the top of the pile, to the top of the heap. Now pack away, pack away, five layers deep. We stuffed and we filled every inch of the shell like a water balloon. It started to swell. Do you have one of those for the top of your car? Mr. Seymour and I do. We put our stuff that we use for sleeping in the tent up there. Done with our packing, we ate dinner at last. Then we got out the scrapbooks of vacations past. There were photos of us at the Museum of Toasters and my father and I riding fast roller coasters. Here's Jimmy on Babe and me with Paul Bunyan. And there's Mommy beside the world's largest onion. Those are some interesting things to see. We laughed about trips we'd taken before. Our week at the beach did nothing but pour. It was so cold that we all wore our fleeces, but we finished a puzzle with 2,000 pieces. At last it was time to climb into our beds where visions of marshmallows danced in our heads. You ever roasted marshmallows over a campfire and made s'mores? In the morning, Dad shouted, get up, rise and shine, it's quarter to four, let's leave here on time. Then a few moments later, there arose such a clatter, we ran to the window to see what was the matter. When what to our wondering eyes should appear but Dad, the camper, and a long trail of gear. He chuckled and said, let's hit the road before our camper decides to explode. We all squeezed in, then drove down our street. I suddenly cried out, yikes, we forgot Pete.
Dad made a U-turn and Pete jumped inside. Now we were ready for the 10 hour ride. I heard Jimmy ask as we drove out of sight, Mommy, are we there yet? She said, with luck, by tonight. Have you ever asked your mom or your dad or your grandma or people driving, are we there yet? Are we there yet? I hope that you guys are planning some vacations or some adventures. Even a nice walk in the woods would be good. <laughs>